Hey guys, well this week I'm up in Brecon. I'm actually up at uh, Hlangatic Escarpment, which is just uh, outside Crickhowl, which you might be able to see the tabletop mountain behind me. A little bit misty today, but uh, a nice spot for lunch. So I thought I'd do a quick review of my cook set and the Go System Sirocco stove. So let's take a look. Okay, so here's my camp cook set. Starting with the gas cartridge, I've got a 350 gram one here, which um, I won't take if I'm going um, bivvying up on the hill, as it's going to be too heavy, and I just take the 100 gram one for that, which also fits very nicely into the mess tin. So, standard army mess tin, as you saw on my kit rundown in a previous video. So, the Go System stove very nicely fits in here. You can see we've got the foil windbreak in the bottom and the Sea to Summit titanium spork fits very nicely in there as well. A couple of choices of food today. We've got some um, good old standard British Army Rat Pack meatballs and pasta. Uh, this is also available uh, in the civilian version, exactly the same pack, except it's packed inside a very nice um, colourful looking plastic pack to make it a bit more appealing. But inside it's the same thing um, as is issued to the Army. And over here the Wayfarer Chili Con Carne, one of my favourites. Standard Army water bottle here, um, again as you may have seen from my kit rundown video, I don't carry those anymore if I'm bivvying out, I prefer water bladders, can carry much more water and uh, with far less space once, uh, once they're empty. The only knife that I carry, and I'll do a quick, uh, a quick rundown of that as well, whilst I'm preparing lunch, and uh, just over here um, some coffee from my flask as I'm cheating today. So um, let's get the stove set up and take a closer look. So here's the Go System Sirocco. It looks very similar to um, other brands of stove. It's classic three legs all folded in very neatly. As you can see, packs down very small indeed. It's very lightweight. So I just open out the legs to each side and then extension folds out the bottom. It's very, very strong stainless steel construction, a solid little thing. Just around here you can see the Piezo starter. Um, I don't like to tempt fate, but it hasn't failed me yet. And I've had this out in all four seasons uh, up on Penifan. And uh, as I say, hasn't failed me yet. I don't expect it to. Standard line about 30 centimeters a foot long and the standard screw fitting on the end with the on off and valve adjustment there. Very, very nice flow control on this one. So nice and smooth. I can't remember the weights of this, but um, if you have a look in the um, detail section on the video, I will put the spec in here, um, as well as the link to Go Systems website as well, so you can have a closer look. But a really nice lightweight little stove, nice and sturdy. And why did I choose this one over all the jet boils and um, the MSRs, etc.? Well, this cost me £35 as opposed to about £100. And uh, I much prefer these ones rather than the ones which sit on top of the gas cartridge because with its three very widely spread little legs there, it's very, very stable on most surfaces. I much prefer this stove, much lower profile and uh, again, much more stability. Okay, so let's get this connected up. Okay, so we've got the stove and uh, cook set now set up and ready to go. As you can see, standard army mess tin, and you can get two boil in the bag meals in here with uh, a little bit of jiggery pokery, absolutely ideal. Set on a nice, nice little flat rock there, solid stable platform, and the gas cartridge down here. If you're using a long cartridge like this one, do ensure that it remains in as upright a position as you can possibly get it. Never lay it down under any circumstances. So, away we go then. Turn the gas on there. One click of the piezo, and you can probably hear that. We are away. So it's only on relatively low at the moment. So if I just turn that up a bit. Got a nice roar going. And, um, That'll start to boil within uh, within a few minutes. It's nice and quick. So um, in less than five minutes or so time, we should have some nice hot meals. 
So while we're waiting for lunch to come to the boil, I thought I'd do a quick review of my Victorinox knife. It's the only knife I carry. I don't carry anything bigger. I don't carry survival knives or Grand's Force axes. I find this knife to be perfectly adequate for all my needs on the hill. I can't remember which model it is, but um, I'll do a quick check and put the link in to um, that particular model on the Victorinox site. So ergonomically shaped body. As you can see, one main blade. And what I particularly like about this blade, if we flip the knife over, we've got the locking button there in place. So that blade is locked in place until I retract the button there. I like that safety feature. It's got a really lovely saw on it, absolutely lethal. Just bring the teeth in, I think, the focus there. Cuts through anything. Great for cutting uh, a nice walking staff for you to whittle away by the, um, the camp stove in the evening. We've got a flat blade screwdriver, um, a wire stripper there, and of course a bottle opener. Absolutely essential wherever you go. There's another, um, it's almost like a fish scaling blade here, but I found it really good for, um, again, whittling the sticks. Very nice sharp little blade. And if we flip it over there, we've got um, a braddle there, really nice braddle. There's, I think it's a, um, a hook remover for fishing. And again, it's got a nice sharp keen edge to it, so a multitude of uses. And of course, the ubiquitous corkscrew to go alongside the bottle opener. In typical Swiss Army knife fashion, in the end there, you just see the top of the um, little tweezers. And on the other side, we've got the toothpick. Very useful for um, after that uh, nice chilly lunch. So that's the knife. Lunch is quite nicely coming to the boil now. So I'm just going to take that down to turn it down a bit to a nice simmer just to stop it boiling over another couple of minutes or so and lunch will be ready and uh, then we'll have a look and see what our chili con carne and uh, meatballs looks like okay so after about five or six minutes lunch is very nicely brought to the boil now and uh, piping hot so let's turn off the stove and Let's have a look and a taste at what the meatballs and pasta is like. Okay, so the meatballs and pasta, piping hot. I don't know if you can just about see that in there. So nice hot meatballs. Let's have a taste of these, see what they're like. Mmm. Pretty good. Very welcome on a nice, slightly chilly day as it is today. Also, my number one favourite of all time, which is the Wayfarer Chili Con Carne, but again, very similar to the um, British Army Rat Pack version. And that one inside, it can just about see there, very, very nice. Can't recommend that one enough. So, Wayfarer Chili Con Carne. So that's it folks, that's our review on the Go System Sirocco stove and the rest of my um, camp cook kit. So from Hlangatuk near Brecon this week, once again, thanks for watching. If you've got any comments or suggestions or anything you'd like to see a review of particularly, then do please let me know in the comment section down below. Do pass it on to your friends and until next time, see ya.